Today we will be conducting a titration. The purpose of a titration is to determine the unknown concentration of a solution. The acid with the unknown concentration is called the analyte and the base with the known concentration, measured in molarity, is called the titrant. The example that we will be doing is where we try to find the unknown concentration of hydrochloric acid by conducting a titration between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Before we start, the equipment you'll need is a burette, a ring stand with a butterfly clamp attached to it, a volumetric pipette, a small funnel, an Erlenmeyer flask, a pipette, a bottle with a 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide, 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, and the indicator, which is a bottle of phenolphthalein. The first thing you need to do is get the volumetric pipette so you can measure out 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Fill it up to the brown line, making sure that the bottom of the meniscus is touching it. Keep your thumb on the spin wheel when lifting out the pipette to make sure that the liquid won't leak. Now we are going to squirt the acid into the flask. Put the tip of the pipette all the way into the flask so that no acid stays on the side of the flask. As you squirt the acid into the flask, make sure there's no liquid left at the bottom of the pipette. Scroll up and down on the spin wheel to make sure that all the liquid comes out. The next step is to get the pipette and put 5-6 to six drops of phenolphthalein into the flask with acid in it. Make sure that your drops aren't large squirts. Also be careful that the drops go right into the acid and not on the side of the flask. After you do this, it's time to fill the burette with the sodium hydroxide. Before you use the burette, rinse it out with water. However, you must make sure that no water is left in the burette after you dry it because it will dilute the base and change its concentration. You can be safe by rinsing out the burette once with the base. Once you are ready to go, place the funnel at the top of the burette and make sure that the stopcock is horizontal, not vertical, before you pour. Measure up to the 0 milliliter line on the burette using the meniscus. When pouring in the base, hold the funnel up a little bit and pour slowly. Look at the burette from eye level to make sure that the bottom of the meniscus is touching the 0 milliliter mark. If you pour too much, take another flask and turn the stopcock to let a little bit of the liquid come out. If there are air bubbles, tap the side of the burette until they're gone. Now it's time to do the titration. Slowly add sodium hydroxide to the flask while swirling it. Stop adding it when the solution turns pink and stays pink. Record how many milliliters the solution dropped as the final volume of your titration. In other words, end volume minus start volume. Our volume of the titration that we recorded, for example, was 10.1 milliliters. It's time to calculate the unknown concentration of the analyte, which in this case is a hydrochloric acid. The formula we will use is MA times VA equals MB times VB. So let's start filling in what we know. We don't know the molarity of the acid, but we do know that the volume of the acid is 10 milliliters. We also know that the molarity of the base is a 1 molar solution, and the volume of the base is 10.1 milliliters. After calculating, you will see that the acid is a 1.01 molar solution.